good neighbor. Today, well, I'm already finished, but I thought I would show you and document for myself what I just performed here. You see all these new fire sprinklers? I got you unclipped and you can see all the way around this building up there. I had to get a boom lift and uh, those boom lifts are very expensive. So you can see each head. Well, I was able to get these off of a ladder, but those up there, I needed a boom lift. And I was able to make sure no one parked right here. But the boss said, hey, make sure you get all that boom lift done. He said, if we have to rent it for two days, we won't make any money. And I said, well, what about safety? He said, don't worry about safety, just get done. He didn't really say that, but it was imp implemented. So yeah, look, at you can see all those heads. You could see right there. Yeah, I made a little stain on that one, but whatever. You gotta remember these are outside heads. And uh, let me go show you where the control valve is. I actually gotta walk over here anyway to make sure nothing's leaking. You know, you gotta have a little confidence in your work. There's the. PIV post indicator valve. That's how you shut this building down. And here's where it drains. You can see the main drain coming out and that's done dripping now. That's a good thing. But my problem was that a lot of these heads, the whole drop kept coming out. You're supposed to just be able to take off the head, but whoever tightened up the head so much, yeah, the whole drop was coming out. So let me see, I thought I saved uh, a skirt around here somewhere. I'm looking for it. I don't see it. But yeah. I, oh, here it is. Yeah. That's the skirts that I've been having to cut off. So yeah. That was already damaged like that. So it looks like there may be a bird or something living up in there. And that is really nasty. You see how I got that all black? I could have probably washed that a little better. So all these heads all the way down. All right, let's keep going. Watch your step here. It's kind of a steep angle. All right, I'm just looking for leaks. That's all I'm doing. So yeah, you can see right here, I had to get the boom lift right here. And I had to get a couple people to move their cars. And you can see up there is where I had to get those to those heads. You can see all the weeds up there. I'll show you. It's kind of a weird building because they have this overhang with no access. So if they ever want to clean those weeds out or wash their windows, they need a boom lift. So, all right, well, there you go. It looks like they're all dry. Oh, on this side over here, I ran out of skirts. So I had to use the old escutcheons. Yeah, you can see that those are the old escutcheons with new heads. And those are new escutcheons and new heads. All right, well, it looks like everything is dry back here. I was gonna let you see these rocks I had to put my ladder on. I don't know, I'll try to reach my arm up. But yeah, I had to use all old skirts right here. But yeah, here, let me reach my arm up. Here's what I was putting my ladder on. See those rocks? Okay. Well, it looks like those heads are all done. I'm not gonna walk you all the way to the other side of the building. I don't wanna make this video too long. I don't know what they do here. But I'm not gonna go inspect their fire sprinklers. It looks like they're kind of corroded and loaded. All right, I'm not gonna inspect their stuff. That's, uh, yeah, two days to do all this building. I had a helper yesterday for the high stuff. So. All right. Yeah. Let me just get into this little back area here. All right, I'm gonna bid you adieu right here. We gotta get out of here. I go clean up that work truck.
After I made all my corrections, now I can put my inspection sticker on the riser. This was a five year inspection and then I had to do the corrections. So after their corrections, oh, here's that steep, steep, steep. All right. Oh, here's a good picture of those rocks I was putting my ladder on. All right. Well, I don't hear that bell going off, so that's a good thing. And I guess this is how those planters drain. There must be a little drain right there, so any water that gets into these rocks, that's where it drains. And you can see this is my main drain. All right. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these whatever adventures i guess looking for leaks adventures all right you know the drill peace love and all that hippie jazz bye bye everybody don't you start dripping